physical properties of metals and non-metals. When scientists were discovering elements, they felt the need to group these elements. It can be done by grouping these elements by studying their physical and chemical properties. Let's try to understand some physical properties of metals and non-metals. Lustre All metals in the pure state have a shining surface. This property is called metallic lustre. Non-metals, on the other hand, are dull. Therefore, they do not have lustre. Hardness Try to cut iron with knife. Isn't it very difficult? Why? Because metals are hard. Now try to cut a rubber with knife. It must be very easy. Thus, non-metals are soft. Malleability Let's perform an activity. Take iron nail, coal piece, piece of thick aluminum wire, pencil lid. Beat each of them with a hammer. What do you observe? Iron nail and aluminum wire change their shape, but coal piece and pencil lead break into pieces. Harder we beat, greater is the change of shape. Thus, metals, if beaten, change their shape and forms thin sheet on beating. This property is called malleability. Non-metals break into pieces like we have seen in activity. Ductility Another interesting property of metals is the ability to form thin wires. It is called ductility. With this property, you can see wires of aluminium, copper, iron. Non-metals do not show this property and breaks if we try to form wires. Sonority The property of producing ringing sound when a substance is struck by a hard substance is called sonority. Metals are sonorous but non-metals are not. Conduction of heat If one end of iron rod is heated, then we can feel rise in temperature at other end also. This means that metals conduct heat. Non-metals does not conduct heat. If non-metals would have been conducting heat, will it be possible to use them as handles for cookers and pans? No. Conduction of electricity Let's perform another activity. Connect circuit as shown. Check if the bulb lights or not. Repeat the same for other materials. Observation Material and conductivity Iron nail is good conductor. Sulphur is bad conductor. Coal piece is bad conductor. Copper wire is good conductor. From this activity, you can verify that metals are good conductor of electricity, but non metals are bad conductor of electricity. Exceptions Sodium and potassium are soft and can be easily cleaved, that is, cut to form plane surface by knife. However, these belongs to metals. Similarly, all metals are solid 
except mercury, which exists in liquid form. Iodine is a non-metal, but it is lustrous. Diamond is hardest substance, which is a non-metal. What this means is that we cannot classify substance as metals or non-metals only on their physical properties. To classify, we have to study their chemical properties as well. We will learn about them in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.